Welcome to another journey through 30. We're made it to week three. So, update. I did my mammogram, my ultrasound. I did my blood work as my yearly checkup to make sure everything is good. But, I kind of condensed it down to every six months because I feel that waiting a whole year is a little bit too long. So, if you want to be proactive and want to be diligent in your remission, sometimes you have to go a step further than what the doctors are telling you. But, I have done my mammogram. Everything came back clear. My ultrasound came back clear. My blood work is great. It's just the wait is waiting, girls. The wait is waiting. So, now that that's out the way... Let's get into some things that have just been on my mind. So, I was recently thinking about how I wanted to move forward with my breast reconstruction, weight loss, just doing a total body revamp. So, I can't really show you guys because it's going to get censored, probably get kicked off, but this is the boob that I had my lumpectomy partial mastectomy on. So as you can see, the skin is still a little dark. I know in the back, it's still a little dark where I have my radiation. So I've been using this thing called Koji Acid Bar Soap, which has done wonders, especially with my dark spots. So that's something that you guys need to look into if you wanna do dark color correcting on your body. So I found a dietitian. I found a, a doctor that's willing to consider bariatric surgery, which I'm not sure I'm gonna go through with it yet. I have to like do more research on it. Um, also, I found um, some new remedies that I will have to change my diet in order to get ready to lose the weight so I the doctor says I need to lose 40 pounds but I'm gonna push that number up to probably either 60 or 80 pounds just to be comfortable I've noticed that what's going on now I've gained weight in my face also I'm noticing that my feet swell up a little bit more frequently than before so that's how I could tell that my body is really not a, not used to the weight that I've gained so we got to get on it the body is definitely bodying right now but in other news just gonna get it together so don't get me wrong i don't i don't i don't dislike being chubby but i've been chubby practically 95 percent of my life so i don't know what it is to be like super small so i don't want to be super small i just want to slim down a little bit and just tone up that's really just what i want to do but i know the first thing the first step is diet and exercise now we all know i'm not a fan of exercising especially with the complications i have especially involving my legs so i can't really do too much when it comes to exercising but your girl gonna figure it out we just gonna have to figure it out um I'm going to insert a few clips of my results, which I'm going to post right here. But enough about that. So, this the summer is coming up. We've accomplished a lot of goals. We've put money aside. We're saving money. We're drinking our water and running our business. That's what we're doing. So... I just wanted to have like this year 34 in my journey to 30. I just wanted to do more things for me. Like I feel like I do so much for everybody else and other people that I don't really focus too much on myself. Which is not a bad thing because it's not that I don't enjoy doing things for other people. But I noticed that I put myself on the back burner a lot. Like... When it comes to things that I want to do, things that I want to explore, things that I want to do for me, 
I kind of like feel guilty or I don't fully go through with it because I feel that, you know, it's no need. I can always wait. It's not important. Which in turn, like, makes me feel that I could have experienced a lot on my own, but because of fear and put being thinking that I need to wait and all this other stuff, I haven't done a lot of things. So, this, like, like I said, this year, 34, is basically more of, I want to do more traveling. I want to do things that I feel interested in or, or explore things that I'm interested in because I want to do those things because those things are, like, exciting to me. I don't necessarily want to do things because somebody suggested or they think I should do it. Like, I don't want to... If I'm making sense, I don't really want to do that. I just want to do what I want to do for me, if that makes sense. Like... I don't know what's the best way to explain it, but that's basically how I feel sometimes. So it's 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 more of a I'm gonna say selfish kind of thing, but I really don't be around too many people to be telling me what to do anyway. That that that, that I don't know. Am I bugging or am I bugging? Because I really don't I don't I don't understand it, but that's just how I feel. Like I give you guys a good example. I want to travel and go like different places with friends or experience girls trips vacations or even vacations but who am i gonna do that with i only have like four close friends and i ain't got no bae but i will definitely travel and do things on my own it's not like i haven't traveled before because i have traveled before by myself but i just want to do more of those things um, I also want to explore different business adventures. Like, I want to look into different other avenues of businesses that I've been interested in, I think, well into my 20s. So, I've always wanted to, like, get into, like, the public service type of business, whether that's taking care of children or involving children and their well-being um different services for the elderly and even different services for young people or disabled people because it's not I don't want to say New York is basically a doggy dog but it is every man for themselves in this state it's just especially if you live within the towns if you're from the towns which is within the five boroughs Brooklyn Queens Bronx Staten Island I'm missing a barrel. It's five barrels. Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, Staten Island. What the? Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, Staten Island. Manhattan. Oh, my God. How can I How can I forget Manhattan? Listen, if you from Harlem or you from Manhattan, don't come for me in these comments, okay? It was a simple mistake. It was a little brain fart. I, only, I almost forgot about Manhattan, but... Right? But anyway, so... It is every man for themselves in this city, and it's, like, real aggressive. It's real um, watch face. If you West Indian, you know what that means. Like, a, a lot of people, it's a lot of people that people watch in this state. Like, they watching what you're doing, where you're going, who you're doing it with, how you doing it, when you're doing it. Social media has a clock on everybody. Like, you really want to run up on your ops? Watch social media, because they're going to drop the location somehow. You could pop up on people if you really pay attention closely, but... That's neither here nor there. So, I just want to dive into different business adventures so I can see, like, which one is going to hit. Or if they all going to hit at the same time. And I'm not really talking about... And I'm not really talking about monetary or financial. I'm really talking about... I want to see how big of an impact I could be on people's lives in a positive way. Like... I don't know. Maybe because I'm a Pisces, I feel things for people, like homelessness and children that are into the foster care system um elderly people that are having issues getting certain things done they don't have nobody they don't have family or they just need help like things like that kind of like interest me in regards to helping people in a positive way now if there's financial things that come along with it like a positive way then of course i'm not going back down from it but it's more of a hospitality thing. It's, I, I don't know. It's just how I think. 
things should be for the elderly, for the less fortunate, for the people, for children who can't even defend themselves. Like, you know, the defenseless. There's certain things that I think should... Now, don't get me wrong. I want to be like the girlies who be taking trips every month, every week. And when you call them, they're somewhere remote working. I would love to be in that position. But... In order to get myself in that position, I have to put myself in that position. I have to do things in order to get me in that lane, which I am. I'm working on it. So it's all about positive energy and putting your energy out there so that it can come back to you. You have to manifest what you want. So we're all about manifesting in the age 34 and 2023. We're going to get what we want and we're going to get it how we want to get it. And it's going to come to us abundantly tenfold. 24, 34, even 100 fold. As long as you're a positive person, I think positivity is always going to come back to you. Now, don't get me wrong. There's always going to be some Debbie Downers or some people doing some craziness out in the street. But you're going to do what you need. But it's all about enjoying yourself. I definitely want to enjoy. I want to enjoy myself more. I feel like I've been so serious for like the last 10 to 11 years. I've been very serious. And when I mean serious, I mean that I really haven't been enjoying myself unless I'm, like, with family and, like, my close friends. I have, I really, my emotions or my ideas basically be geared off of how they feel and what they want to do. And it's never more so about, all right, Malika wants to do this, so I'm going to do what Malika wants to do. It's never like that. So, I'm basically going to try... Not try. I'm going to do that. I'm going to... If I want to go on a trip, I'm going to take a trip. If I want to see different things, I'm going to see different things. If I want to join a club or outreach centers, I'm going to do that. Let's talk about these little trends that's coming up about relationships. I really feel if you're not a man, you shouldn't be talking about men issues. And if you're not a female, you shouldn't be talking about female issues. Since when everyone is a relationship guru? And why should we as viewers take advice from people who aren't in a relationship or have unsuccessful marriages, been married multiple times, have different women, have side chicks, all of this going on? Why should I even be listening to you? You're not even qualified. You're not even qualified. I feel every relationship or people want to deal with people let them navigate their way don't jump into something that you're not ready for if you want to be in a relationship and the person that you with doesn't want to be in a relationship find you somebody who wants to be in a relationship love has no conditions none whatsoever love has no conditions love has no boundaries love has no restrictions love has no labels none of it does love is so uncontrollable that You have to learn how to manipulate it in the way that you want it. So if you, if your version of love is, I need quality time, I need physical touch, I need acts of service, and the person that you're dealing with doesn't know any of those things, then you have to teach this person, these people or persons, how to love you. This is, this is your love language and this is how you operate when you're in love. It's very simple. It's not that hard. I don't understand why there's multiple podcasts on telling people on how to love and how to be in relationships. It's just a dub. We're all grown. You know how to act. You know how to be right. You know what you need to do to make something successful. If you want to be an asshole, do asshole things for people who want to be an asshole. Simple as that. Now for the girlies and the boys who are in the back upset that they failed at a relationship. You don't fail if you did everything that you were supposed to do while you were in a relationship and you in your heart felt that you did everything in your power and you did right by somebody, then you did not fail. It was just the person that you was with wasn't able to receive it in the manner that you was able to understand and acknowledge. It wasn't the time for them to enter your life, enter your life and understand what it is to be genuinely loved. But you shouldn't dim your light or dim your love because this person hurts you. It's not the right person. Find you another one. It's very simple. It's 4 billion people on the planet. You 
can choose. You have multiple choices. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's not that hard. But if you need time to recoup, you're allowed to do that. It's okay. If you failed and you want to try, if you feel that you failed or want to use that word that you failed and you want to try again, you can try again. There's nothing wrong with that. If you leave the person and then it's been years and then they come back, it's okay to try again. It's okay. It is okay. Why? Because love has no conditions. None. You set the rules. There's no playbook. People fail to people fail to understand that. And I don't understand. It's really not that hard to understand. Some people love to be single. Some people love to be in a relationship. Some people love to be in multiple relationships. All those things are okay. What's not okay, what's not okay is manipulating people into thinking that you're one way and you're doing the total opposite. This is where people's feelings get hurt. This is where fights happen, regret. A lot of things happen where in a relationship where you feel that it shouldn't have happened. Because you led this person on into believing that things were going to be one way and it became another. <coughs> I myself fell victim to that. My last relationship broke me so bad that it took me 30 days to recover physically. But it took me... I, I'm on year two right now. It took me a year to like fully get that person out of my system. Like, move forward, move past it, think about me. It's only me. I don't have to worry about this person no more. They're on their own path. I'm on my own path. It does hurt. It does really hurt. But life goes Here's on. the beauty in starting over. You meet someone. You learn the person. You click. You vibe. And you could say it's either yay or nay. This whole thing, oh, we're too old. We shouldn't be starting over. Sir, ma'am, ma'am, sir. You got people in their 70s and 80s getting married. You have people in their 60s having babies. You have people doing multiple different things in their older age because they couldn't get it right in their younger age. Like, we need to stop putting a time limit or an age limit on certain things that we have to acquire. If it's meant for you to have it in your 60s, you're going to get it in your 60s. If it's meant to you to, for you to have in your 20s, your 30s, you're going to have it in your 20s or 30s. Stop putting these unrealistic time constraints on yourself. It's not healthy. But here's the real question. Why would you want to start over or try something again with somebody that hurt you multiple times with no remorse? didn't change you gave this person a chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance and nothing has changed they're still the same you're on this level they're on that level they never go above that level why do you want to keep maintaining a relationship with somebody who keeps themselves on this level and you're trying to elevate doesn't make any sense get rid of it next send the package back to sender and find you a new package that's how that goes i mean i'm talking shit it seems uh, it sounds like it's easier when i say it but it's easier said than done which is true because feelings are involved but again time heals all wounds over time you get better and better it's not it's not the end of the world the beauty of it is when you move with genuine intent and you move with genuity things always come to you and sometimes you realize when you're with this person, things were going bad. Things are not happening. Life has just like stuck in, and is stagnant. And then the moment that you let the person go, it's like everything opens up for you. You you get a new job. You get a new car. You get money. You It's like multiple things happen to you because that person was weighing you down. That wasn't the right person you were supposed to be with. I'm just saying. But... Like I said, it's easier said than done. But enough about relationships. That's too muchy right now. It's too chummy. But that's my little spiel on people with these podcasts giving relationship advice. And they're not even in relationships. Or they have multiple failed relationships. I'm just saying.
But I just wanted to give you guys that update. Um, and that was my little uh, spiel on relationship podcasts and little relationship gurus that's going around on social media talking about relationships and they don't even have no relationship going or the relationship suck and they fail and they're not even showing you behind the scenes of what they go through with the people that they deal with so i'm not taking no advice from you thank you no thank you but um i think that's it i'm gonna keep this short and i see you guys in my next one bye